Hi, I'm Ling, and for today's video, I want to try something a little bit different. I'm going to be sharing my leather jacket collection with you and showing you how I style each one of them. I know in my first video, I said that my obsession with leather jackets is actually how I got into the hobby of leather crafting, but I do want to say, I know it's ridiculous for one person to have this many leather jackets. I definitely don't need all of them, but I am very fortunate to have them. However, I have been collecting these jackets over the course of 10 years, and most of them I either bought on sale or I thrifted. The way I see it, it's kind of like how people collect sneakers that never make it out of the box, except I actually do wear my jackets and I have a lot of fun styling them. Hopefully you can get some style inspiration out of this video or a better understanding of sizing if you're planning on getting one for yourself. I'm 5'2", 115 pounds, but I'll share the specific size details with each jacket. With that said, let's get into the video. This first jacket is by far the one I wear the most, and it's held up really well to the many years of use. It's an extra small from Guess, and I got it on sale from Macy's for $160. Because it's black and relatively simple, it's super versatile. I love that if I'm in a rush, I can finish a bike ride, throw this jacket on, and head out while looking somewhat put together. I got this jacket from an All Saints outlet in New York. It's a size 4 in the color vintage pink. It was originally $500, but I got it for $170. I usually don't like muted colors like this on my skin tone, but I think the combination of the dainty color on the more masculine biker style jacket somehow works. I'm wearing it over a white tank top and relaxed grey pants, which is pretty representative of the athleisure style I gravitate towards. This is the All Saints Panel Baseball Balfour Jacket. I have it in a size 2. It was originally $650, but I got it on sale for $160. I fell in love with it right away because it feels like something I could have revived out of my mom's closet from her high school days. Except that wouldn't have actually happened in real life because my mom was a huge nerd in high school. Here's the All Saints Avalon Bomber in the color pistachio. I like this jacket for all of its details. It has these zippers on the side, a suede panel under the main zipper, and a zippered coin pocket on the left arm. Staying true to my athleisure style, I'm wearing it with a white tank, leggings, and sneakers. I'm wearing it in a size 2, it was originally $560, and I got it for $160. This is one of my favorite jackets ever. I got this black suede blazer from a thrift store in Tokyo for $12. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw the price tag. Then I tried it on, and it fit as if it was custom made for me and I thought I was in a dream. I wish all thrift store experiences could be that lucky. My mom and I actually spent a few quarantine weekends creating a pattern based on this jacket so that we can make more, since it fits us both so perfectly. Here's another awesome find from the same thrift store in Tokyo. It's a black suede shirt jacket with lined sleeves that I also picked up for $12. This was seriously one of the highlights of my trip to Japan. If I go back to Tokyo, I'm for sure going to dedicate one day to thrifting. To juxtapose the more structured and boxy silhouette of this jacket, I'm wearing it with a bralette and some wide leg pants. I think it could make a cute summer date night outfit. I got this dark brown suede jacket from Nordstrom Rack for $80. It's from the brand BCBG and it's in a size extra small, which I still find a little bit big on me. I don't wear this jacket as much as I should, mostly because I find that suede is not as wear resistant as leather. It's also a bit stiff, but that might be because I haven't worn it in. I'm wearing it over a wool turtleneck and two layers of pants, which keeps me pretty warm in the San Francisco winters. This is the newest addition to my collection. It's the Off-White Allura Biker Jacket from All Saints in size 4. It was originally $450, but I got it for $130. I think the cropped length is flattering on my body since I have a shorter torso, and also because I prefer wearing high-waisted pants. I like the neutral white color because I can wear it with some of my crazier pants, like these colorful pants with fish all over them. I got this bright red biker jacket in Shanghai from the South Bun Fabric Market, where you can get pretty much any piece of clothing custom made. It's a three-story building packed with shops specializing in different clothes. You can even dream up a design or show a picture for inspiration, and you'll be able to find a store to custom make it for you in a matter of days. I got this jacket for $80 and they made it in two days. Here's another jacket I got from the South Bun Fabric Market in Shanghai for $80. It has a diagonal asymmetric zipper and a mandarin collar, and I think it looks cool zipped up and unzipped. I chose to go with a dark olive green color because I think it makes the jacket look dressier and more formal. I also asked for this jacket to be made to a cropped length, and I think it pairs well with the high-waisted white jeans. This is the last jacket I got in Shanghai. 
It's a trucker style jacket that I chose to make in a black suede. I'm usually hesitant about buying suede jackets because of the ugly oil stains that develop around the neck over time. But since this one was custom made, I asked for the collar to be made out of leather instead. This jacket was $100, which is a bit more expensive than the first two, but I got it from a more reputable store called Jeannie and Peter Leather Shop number 165. They're extremely helpful, measure carefully, and really take their time to show you all of the options. This orange suede bomber is from Mark, New York. I got it for $90 from Nordstrom Rack, and it's in an extra small. I love the pop of color that it adds to my outfit, and the more laid back and sporty vibe of the bomber style. To go along with the laid back look, I've paired it with a black cropped t-shirt, high waisted acid wash jeans, and some white sneakers. Here's another jacket from All Saints. It's the Dalby jacket in the color brick red, and I have it in a size 4. It's originally $450, but I got it for $160 from an outlet store in Vancouver. I prefer this to the more popular Balford biker jacket, which has the belt, because I find that the simpler details are just more elegant. I'm wearing it on top of a grey tank and some wide leg jeans. This is my last jacket from All Saints, and it's in the Balfour style. The color is ruby red, and I'm wearing it in a size 4. It was originally $500, but I got it for $170. The color might look similar to the previous jacket, but it's a deeper true red. I think All Saints really nailed it with this jacket. The leather is buttery and soft, but it's also thick and warm. The only downside is that it is super heavy, and I wish that the belt was removable. I'm pairing it with a faux suede skirt and some black heeled boots. I got this blue suede shirt from a thrift store in Vancouver for $15. I get the biggest kick out of finding leather things at thrift stores because they're always so heavily marked down. The brand of this shirt is Gap and it's a size small. I've had this one since high school but it's still in really good shape. I'm wearing it on top of a sports bra and some acid wash jeans. I got this long blue suede bomber from Nordstrom Rack for $70. It's from the brand Obey and the style is called Nomad. I'm wearing a size extra small which is still pretty oversized. There's something about the blue suede that just hypnotized me to buy it, but honestly, I find this jacket a bit tricky to style. I think it works okay with these denim shorts, but I can't figure out how to make it look good with long pants. I'm thinking about maybe cropping it and making a purse with the leftover material, but I haven't worked up the courage yet. This last jacket is both suede and leather. It's from the brand Blank NYC in the style vices, and I got it for $129. I got it in extra small, which is a little snug on my arms, but when I tried the small, it was way too big. And here's a bonus clip showing you the method I used to shimmy up my tight skinny jeans. All right, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you got some ideas about how to style your leather jackets, or if you're in the market for a new one, hopefully you got an idea of the range of jackets and styles that exists out there. I would definitely recommend waiting for a sale or thrifting a jacket, which is what I've done. If you're planning on expanding your collection, I would just say tread carefully because you might end up like me. I've gotten to the point where when I tell my mom that I bought a new jacket, she just goes, Ling, another jacket? Why don't you get a bed frame instead? Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.